Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nick Juan Jordan, the Air Protagonist, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at SeaArt's new deepfake feature. So we've looked at their image face swap in the past, but now they actually have videos. If you go up to the Swift AI, you can see it right here, right in the first feature is the AI face swap. So we have two different tabs. We got the video tab and the image tab. For this one, for this video, we will be focusing on the videos. They do have a bunch of templates that you can use. Um, actually not as much as other apps, but of course you can just upload your own template by clicking this right here. You can see you can upload an image up to 10 megabytes in size a video up to 500 megabytes or 10 minutes maximum. So on the right hand side, we can see that we have the actual uh, faces that I've been trying in the past. We got Sakura, Jackie, and Chloe. These are three characters that are reoccurring on my Instagram. So we're gonna start things off with this first one here. Go ahead and mute that real quick. So we can see that it just starts autoplay in the video and it is a, what you would typically see, um, a woman dancing to some music in the background. I do have it muted just so I don't have to deal with any kind of uh, copyright issues. So we are going to try the Sakura face and you just click on this button down here. It shows you exactly how much credits it uses when you generate and I'll just click on generate. And here is the new video. So you can see it did a very good job with putting Sakura's face on the model. And in the past, we have seen some issues with it getting a little bit glitchy whenever someone um, puts anything across the face. But in this one, it actually looks really good. The, um, the eye looks like it changes a little bit, but that could actually be due to the, um, the actual lighting rather than the face swap but it looks good all the same. So now once you've created an actual swap, what you can do is you can add it to a post, you can download it or you can delete it. And we will delete it for the sake of this video. And we will try a new one. So if we go to this one here, this one is actually a really good one because it is a close up of someone's face. So you can really see the details. So we will go with the Jackie. Uh, just because I want to show you what it looks like when you try to put in a different face tone or a different skin tone for the face. What it will do is it will kind of do a blend between both of the skin tones and it actually does look really good. And here is the new video. So you can see she's not quite as dark as the original Jackie image, but she's not as light as the uh, original video. So it is a blend of both of the skin tones and it does look very good, very smooth. So that is pretty much it for this tool. It is a great tool, very easy to use. They are having a competition for the face swap tool. If you are someone who's looking to make a little extra money, basically you just create something with their face swap tool and you post it in the um, in the community and then send it to them. And here are the different categories. You can win different prizes and all kinds of things like that. All the information is in this post on the home page. So that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, anything else you want me to try out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.